let's start today's lecture by reviewing what we learned in the last lecture. Okay. In the last lecture, when we have a medium that has characteristic impedance Z0 and Z1, and if we have instant wave, an instant obliquely to the surface of this continuity, this continuity uh, in terms of impedance. There's an impedance mismatch, okay? Then due to this impedance mismatch, this instant wave will be reflected. And we found that the reflected angle is the same as the instant <coughs> angle. And there will be some wave that is transmitted. And transmitted angle theta t. And these angles are not independent because the pressure and velocity must be continuous on x equal zero. That means we are using coordinate x and y, like this. And what we found was the ki, that is the wave number of instant wave, cosine theta i has to be equal to kr cosine theta r, that has to be equal to kt cosine theta t. And theta i equals theta r because ki, that is a wave number, has to be omega over c0. Zero. zero stands for the propagation velocity uh, in medium zero. And this c0 must obey Isentropic process, gas law. OK? Therefore, KR has to be same as the KI, because KR must be omega over C0. OK? So I could say that it is same as KI. Uh, And then over here, kt is the wave number in medium 1 that has to be omega over c1. OK, that is the number of wave that is allowed to be propagated in this medium. So this is the Snell's law that essentially says trace wave number in the y direction has to be same on the surface at x equals 0. Right? So we conclude that k0 cosine theta 0 has to be equal to k1 cosine theta 1. Okay? And also this pressure and the velocity continuity lead us to have the transmission coefficient tau, that is z0 plus z1 to z1. Is it correct? Or to z0? To z1? OK. Where? 
z0 is rho 0 c0 zero divided by cosine theta 0. And the z1 is rho 1 c1 divided by cosine theta 1. So in this case, we call this impedance as what? Hmm? Oblique, in, oblique wave impedance or oblique impedance. So what we learned over here, again, the how much it transmitted compared with incident wave is totally determined by impedance. So everything is impedance business. You recall that this is exactly the same as the impedance, the how much wave is, the, uh, the, the formula that determines how much wave is transmitted when we have two different strings, the same. The only difference is, in this case, Z is rho. Uh, if this is medium zero, this is rho zero, C zero. OK. And for the case, normal incidence case, the Z zero is simply rho zero, C zero. And the Z one is rho one, C one. OK. And another one, we uh, we uh, had an interest actually come from this equality. If you draw this equality in wave number domain, then. Say K zero cosine theta zero. So for example, I have K zero and this is a theta zero, then this is this is the length K zero cosine theta zero. So if I draw the circle made by the K zero. OK, the radius of this circle is k0. And the k1, that is the wave number in medium 1, if that is, for example, smaller than k0, then I can draw this kind of circle. OK, because k0 cosine theta zero has to be same. Therefore, I could draw this as the wave number that is allowed in medium one. And this has to be theta one. OK. So it's interesting to see that there is a, some interesting point or situation that we can call critical angle. Okay, if we if we uh, send the incident wave, okay, hmm. sign. cosine, sign. Oh. Psi. Ah. So this is psi. Really? I'm confused. I'm give up. Is psi? Oh. 